All right, Dame. Well, there's a lot been going on. And, and with all the talk of the, you know, the election, of course, last night, the town halls, a lot of people may have missed this, you know, in entertainment. But did you hear about Bruce Springsteen? That is get out. Yep. He, he said in an interview to some uh, media outlet in Australia that he'll be, and I quote, on the next plane to Australia if Trump wins re-election. Well, he can stay here for the lockdowns. I'll Sorry. buy the ticket for him. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. Now, now, not to be outdone by the 71-year-old rocker, guess who stepped up? Motley Crue's Tommy Lee. <laughs> and he it. had this to say when asked about the prospect of Donald Trump winning re-election. He said, dude, I swear to God, because, you know, 65 year old guys say dude a lot i swear to god that if that happens i'm coming out to visit the uk i'm out of here i'm gonna go back to the motherland go back to greece and get a house on one of those islands he declared um hey donnie why don't you fire up uh you know air force one warm up the jet maybe these guys you know could get together and start a band or something i mean come on what even is that with these guys like we haven't heard these proclamations before you know celebrities trying to use their status as celebrities to elicit a reaction that's really just another version of that old gag in hopes of generating you know a massive amount of sympathy for the plight of oh god please don't leave us hoping that that'll trigger the nation you know to kind of rise up in unison and declare <gasps> Yes, we can't lose you. You're too important, Bruce. Well, you know what? In the immortal words of George W. Bush. Fool me once. Shame on. Go ahead. Shame on you. Right. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. Exactly. <laughs> so really, Bruce and Tommy, when, when, we when are you leaving, mate? You know, maybe you can hold hands on a walkabout and talk about your feel feels when you get there. Seriously, though, because I don't want you guys, you know, Tommy and Bruce, to turn into one of those posers, you know, kind of like Whoopi or, or even Babs. And, and don't forget Samuel L. Jackson, where the L now stands for loitering, because guess what? He's still here. They all promised to leave the U.S. if Trump won the election in 2016. And guess what? Like I said, they are still here, along with uh, people like Miley, Amy Schumer, Snoop Dogg, Jon Stewart, and Chelsea Handler. Yeah, they're all still here. What gives? Well, let me guess. You're a lying fraud? Maybe. Or maybe you decided to stick around for all that great freedom nowhere else in the world offers you. So now the next question is, what is it going to take? More than half the country doesn't like you anyway, right? Go. Yeah. Is it a people problem? Do you need help? Loading the truck, maybe? I mean, just say the word. We'll put the TDS bat signal out. We'll have more people here than you can imagine to help donate a few minutes of their time to make sure they get you and your stuff all packed up and ready for moving day. But let's face it, you guys aren't going to leave. You're never going to go anywhere because despite what you say, you will still need to suck on the teat of the American public. Your adoring fans might miss you. And that's what this is really all about. I mean, when was the last time you guys were relevant? It's been a while. Guess what? We're doing fine without you. Just ask the NBA. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. here's the deal. This is the United States of America. No, we're not perfect. Never have been. Never will be. But it's still way better than anything else anyone has ever come up with. So do us all a favor. Shut up! <laughs> and if you really want to be a role model, yeah. how about doing something or saying something positive? Maybe trying to set an example or, I don't know, follow through on something, keeping your word? How about that for a novel idea? Or... Do what they say, you know, do what you say you're going to do. And like I said, or Homer will just say, shut up. Because yeah. we know, you know what? This guy here, he makes his promises. Promises made and promises kept. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Rick Delgado, what even is that? So true. Here, here, Get here. out, all of you. Yeah. Put you all on a bus. Rosie O'Donnell, all of them. Just LeBron. drive it out of here. Yeah. Get out.